Hey, what's up everyone? So a few days ago, my Windows laptop got an update and after the update, all my network printers are gone. For those of you wondering, I'm using Windows 11 home single language and after trying to re-add the printers again, I would get the error that ends in 709. And after browsing uh, Google and YouTube, most people suggested that there should be an update that's causing the problem that I need to uninstall. But after uninstalling all of the Windows updates, and of course restarting the computer after each update, uh, after each uninstall, still no luck. So after browsing YouTube and Google again, some people suggested that there's an, uh, a setting in GP Edit that needs to be uh, changed, in uh, particularly the RPC settings. Uh, unfortunately, GP Edit is not available in home versions of Windows. It's only available on Pro versions of Windows. So since mine is home, I cannot access GP Edit. So after browsing Google, I finally found a, uh, a way to access GP Edit. So after tinkering around, I got I can open GP Edit, and uh, people say I need to go to ad admin and printers and. There's an RPC connection settings that I need to enable and blah, blah, blah. And after restarting the computer, still no luck. So after browsing Google and YouTube again, I finally found a solution and hopefully this also works for you. And it's actually super simple. So you need to go to Rec Edit and the way you do that is you go to Run by holding uh, Windows and pressing R, which opens up this. You type in Rec Edit and press Enter. And the first time you open Rec Edit, uh, it should be on the top here. Okay, computer and then H key. You need to go to local machine and uh, click on the arrow here to get the menu below. Go to software and then you go down to policies and then Microsoft and then Windows NT. Now the first time I click on Windows NT, the, the arrow, there's only two uh, folders, only terminal and Windows. This printer folder is not here. So you need to create that yourself by right clicking the Windows NT folder and then new and then key. And then that should uh, create a new folder that you need to rename to printers. And if you don't know how to rename it, you click uh, right click on the uh, folder and then click rename and you re uh, rename it to printers. And then after that, you need to create another folder called RCP, the same way. You right click on the printer's folder, you click new key, and then uh, rename the folder to RPC. Now, uh, after you go in the uh, RPC folder, there should be only one file, uh, only the top file here, the default file. The blue file here should, shouldn't be here. Uh, you need to create this uh, by right clicking anywhere here, right click, new, and then uh, deword the 32-bit value. And then after that, uh, it should create a new file and you need to rename this file to RPC use name pipe protocol. And again, you rename that by right clicking the file and then rename. After renaming the file, you double click on the file and then you change the value to one. So the default is zero. You change it to one and then you click OK and then you close it and then you restart the computer. And for me, after I restarted the computer, all my network printers came back to life. I didn't need to re-add them and I was really thankful. So if this also works for you, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you next video, love you.